Hey, what's up, my friend? Kalik and I here, and in a moment, I'm going to share with you what I believe is going to be a very compelling presentation where I'm going to walk you step by step by step about how to get started with your own online business when you're starting from total scratch. Now, uh, the cool thing about this is I've never shared this publicly before. However, if you haven't yet, then pause this video, go grab a pen and a paper because I promise you this is something that you're going to want to take notes on. So if you haven't got that in front of you, pause this video right now, go grab a pen and paper and come right back. All right? So I'm going to assume that you've done that already. And let's go ahead and get in to today's content, right? So the thing that I like to ask myself is, you know, how can we uh, service our clients even better? Like, what's the next thing that we can do to help them get to where it is that they want to go? And recently, I sat down and I asked myself, you know, self, if I had to start all over again from scratch, what would that look like? How would I make that happen? Right? And so the the title for this presentation is going to be starting from scratch, right? What would I do if I had to start all over again from zero? So you understand that a lot of times, you know, you, uh, our clients think that, well, of course, Kiala can do that, or of course, him and his team can do that, or of course, some of these super affiliates can do that because they've got all of these, uh, you know, skills and all of these advantages that I don't have as a beginner. However, there are actual advantages to being a beginner as well right? And so would you like to know, right, if I was on an even playing field or anybody on my team was on an even playing field with a person who just got started with their online business yesterday, would you like to know how we would take that business from zero to six figures? Stick with me because I'm going to show you exactly how I would personally approach that dilemma. First, I want to be very clear, right? I'm talking about from scratch, right? So this is assuming I have no fame, no expert status, no huge email lists, no big audience that's following me, right? So take away all of the things that most people think give me some sort of advantage in the marketplace. Take all of those away, and here is how I would start from scratch. And again, take a, a pen and paper, take notes on this, because I promise you, you're going to love it, okay? So step one is I want to get very clear about my values, right? And getting clear about my values helps me understand how can I build a business around the things that I already love. So we have training about this. If you go through AWOL 101, we have a training in there called, you know, where I go over the hierarchy of values. And it's like a 20, 25 minute video. Most people completely, completely overlook the value of that training. And it is absolutely a foundational piece of, of, of the puzzle, right? Meaning that you're going to want to build everything on top of that. That's what builds you a solid foundation. And those of you who have Master's Academy, there's an actual video in there from Dr. Martini himself, wherein he goes much deeper on that topic. When we do our Elite Summit, both times that we've done the Elite Summit, on the first day, we spend half the day going, get helping the clients get clear about what their values are. Why is that? Because the truth is that your wealth is already hidden inside of the things that you currently value in your life, okay? And I can't go too far down the rabbit hole without going way too far off topic. The point is very simple. Once we understand what you already value in your life, it becomes very easy for us to build a business that you're going to be inspired by, that you're going to be passionate about. Uh, Build a business that you're going to leap out of bed every morning and absolutely be in love with, right? And for every person, that might be a little bit different. If you already love golf, why wouldn't you build a business around golf? If you already love you know, surfing, why wouldn't you build a business around surfing? Right? I love marketing and sales. Look at what I've built my business around. And so what you, the, real, you know, the real key to f- having that freedom that everyone talks about is when you can take your vacation and your vocation and marry those two. And that's what we want to do first, is get clear about our values and then figure out how can we build a business around the things that I'm already passionate about, that I'm already excited and exhilarated about. That's step one. Step two, once we've gotten clear on our values, the very next thing that we want to do is either find or create offers. Okay, So we're either going to find something in the marketplace that we can sell or if we can't find it or if we're an expert at something, then we might just create that offer, right? So if you're an expert at something, which keep in mind, you don't have to necessarily be the world's, you know, most knowledgeable individual, right? A first grader is an expert to a kindergartner, right? A, you know, freshman in high school is an expert to somebody who's in middle school, 
okay? So you don't have to know it all, and a lot of times people downplay the value that they have to offer. So when we're creating an offer, we're talking about taking our intellectual property most often, right? Or something that we're going to build with our hands, perhaps, right? If we wanted to build a surfing business and I want to sell high-end surfboards that I handcrafted, well, that would be something that I might build, right? However, you know, if I want to teach somebody how to build a surfboard, that would be intellectual property, okay? So we basically have two types of offers. We're going to have primary offers. Uh, these can be, so this is going to be the thing that, that we use to liquidate the cost of our advertising uh, first in our funnel, right? So obviously to build a business, we're going to be out there advertising uh, what, what it is that we have to offer. That costs money. Our primary offer is the thing that is the, the most important thing that we sell in our funnel. It's the thing that we try to sell first, and it's the thing that's going to liquidate the cost of that advertising, right, and get us flush. That way, at the bare minimum, if all it does is bring us back to zero, anything that we sell to that customer after that is pure profit. Okay? Oftentimes, our primary offer can liquidate the entire cost of our advertising and add in a layer of profit as well. Okay, so we're going to have primary offers. Some of those might be self-made. Like, again, I just talked about that, right, where we create our own offer. So self-made could be a membership site where you're charging, you know, uh, self-made could be like a membership site where you're charging a monthly membership uh, to have access to some content that you're putting together, or you can have other contributors that are putting content together. Uh, I'll give you a couple of examples. I have a friend right now who lives out here in Las Vegas. When I moved from Hawaii, he moved as well. You know, wants to stay close to kind of the center of influence. He's building a business in the barbecue space. So he has created what he calls the Barbecue Association of America. Yes, that's an actual niche. Did not know that, right? So you created Barbecue Association of America. You pay like 20 bucks a month and uh, to be a member and you get recipes, you get a, you get a Facebook group, you get a, a membership site, a back office, uh, you have discounts, you'll qualify for 10 to 20% off everything in their online store, which is, you know, barbecue gloves, all like from something as small as barbecue gloves all the way up to an entire barbecue grill and smokers and uh, pretty large items of that sort. People pay a monthly membership. The beautiful thing about a membership is that you have that recurring residual income, right? You can predict your income every month because it's not 100% reliant on generating a new customer. You have your return customers paying over and over and over again. You could have a subscription newsletter, right? We have, uh, there's a, a woman in our space uh, that I was researching recently, her offer, I believe, is $50 a month. It's in the fitness space. She does $5 million a month in revenue. Right? She has over 100,000 subscribers monthly to the newsletter and their membership site. You can create an online course, right? If you look at our academies, those are all online courses. Somebody pays for the information and they go through an online course through a series of videos. The other thing that we can look for is affiliate offers. Affiliate offers are those things that we're selling that somebody else has created, somebody else owns. We sell their product for them. We earn a commission every time that we sell it. So some places that we can find good affiliate offers are obviously uh, affiliate networks, things like ClickBank, Clickshore, you know, Warrior Forum. Another one would be network marketing. And this one is often very much overlooked, right? Network marketing is actually where I uh, sharpened my teeth in the industry and really had my first success. The the beautiful thing about network marketing is oftentimes you can find a great high quality product and you know you have a leveraged compensation plan meaning as you sell those products if anybody who buys from you decides to sell those products as well you get overrides on them and sometimes you can have that you know in several levels deep right now there's risks and rewards to that there's a great compensation got to be intelligent about it however there are great companies out there that are phenomenal have phenomenal products phenomenal compensation plans and you know you can earn a stellar commission selling their products for them. The other thing that you can do is go through and look through, find other advertisers and funnel hack them, right? In other words, you find other advertisers in the niche that you're already in and you go through their funnels and see what they're selling. What affiliate offers are they offering? What uh, products are they selling? Potentially you could, you know, somebody selling, as an example, a protein shake. It's not all that, it's not extremely difficult to go to the source, the manufacturer of that protein shake and get the same formula but labeled like, but have it labeled under your brand if we wanted to, okay? So these are just some ideas. And blogs, right? Going out and researching a lot of blogs and finding are there bloggers out there that have their own, that have their own uh, uh, affiliate program or offers that they're promoting. And so for the advertisers, and blogs, what we're really going to be looking for is finding somebody who has an offer 
available in the marketplace that might not be leveraging affiliate marketing. They might not currently have an affiliate program. So we might go to them and say, hey, uh, I love your offer. I love everything that you, you're, you're promoting online. I'm wondering, you know, can I be an affiliate, send you some traffic and earn a commission selling your product? I want you to think about this for a moment. Our number one affiliate sends in over a million dollars in revenue by himself every single month, okay? By himself, alone. However, that gentleman reached out to me and asked me if we had an affiliate program about four or five months before we actually had one. Meaning we, du we took our funnels, we agreed, we took our funnels, we duplicated it, and we knew that any sale that came through this funnel, that was coded back to him, and through some simple accounting, we made sure that he got credit with all of that. So he pioneered the affiliate program before it exists. Do you think it's possible that there's someone out there who wants to sell more of their product, doesn't even, is completely unaware of the affiliate marketing game, and I'll be happy to have somebody like yourself approach them about, you know, uh, and offer them, offer to sell more of their product for them for a fair commission? Of course they would, right? So we're going to get into some examples of this here in just a moment. Okay, the second type of offer that we're going to have is secondary offers. Secondary offers are things that we're going to sell on the back end, right? So a primary offer is something that when somebody opts in to our funnel, it's the very first thing that they're going to see. And we're going to probably spend anywhere from 7 to 21 days trying to, or maybe even 30 days actually, trying to sell them that offer. Okay, trying to convince them that that's the, the number one thing that, that they can buy. But if they don't buy that, we have a duty and responsibility as responsible business owners to liquidate the cost of generating that lead. So on the back end, we're going to you know, uh, double down on some secondary offers. So let's say that somebody opts into our funnel. We're selling a weight loss program. They opt into our funnel, and after 21 days, they haven't bought our fitness program. Well, then we're gonna move them onto another list and we're gonna scrub them across what we call secondary offers, right? So these are offers that are intended, you know, that are in a line with what they've already opted in for, but they may not be ours and they might not fully liquidate the cost of our advertising, but they at least help us to monetize that lead to some degree, okay? So these could be, these are gonna be offers that are closely related to what the leads are already asking for. These could be affiliate products as well. These could be JV promotions. So a JV promotion is, you know, Perhaps I'm uh, selling something in the weight loss space and I find another person online who's selling something in the weight loss space and I go to them on the side and I say, hey, you know, I noticed that you're selling you know, your, your, uh, your supplements and I think that that would be something my audience would be interested in. If I promote that, can we set up a JV agreement? Let's start it out at like, and usually when, when we do this, I start out with, let's split it 50-50. Whatever the net revenue is, let's split that 50-50. And a lot of times they say, yes, this is something that we're doing right now. So if, when somebody opts into our email list here at the Academy, if, with a, if, if within 13, 30 days they don't buy one of our products, they actually go into a JV promotions list where we're selling them other people's products. Some people have even, some of our actual customers have seen those promotions as well. We've sold uh, a, a, a training on how to uh, build a business selling t-shirts online. We recently sold a training on YouTube advertising and we have more of those coming. Okay, so those are an agreement that we set up directly with the seller of those products. We could sell them software, right? Somebody comes in, they, they wanna learn more about internet marketing. On the back end, we might sell them lead pages, click funnels, uh, get response, infusion soft, all of these various tools that we know that they might be interested in. PLR, entirely overlooked these days. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that. It's basically private label rights. Most people don't even know that there are companies out there right now that have created entire products. You can buy the product one time, be able to slap your logo, your name and information on it and sell it as if you created the product. I'm gonna show you more about that here in a moment. And of course, there's more, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look at this in action really quick. So here's a very simple uh, Google search that I did online. And I just typed in uh, weight loss bloggers, I believe. And so, and again, I'm looking for a blogger who is getting a lot of traffic and is selling something uh, that maybe, and where they, they may not be leveraging affiliates, right? So I just did a quick little Google search. This is what came up. And then here's one. The second, op, the second uh, result was the most inspiring weight loss blogs. So I clicked there, went to a page like this, and I saw this gentleman on that page, right? Fit to fat to fit. 
This guy shows up in my newsfeed all the time because my behavior on the internet shows that I'm interested in the ketogenic diet and he sells a lot of uh, content and training uh, in alignment with the ketogenic diet. So he sells a bunch of ketogenic uh, products, right? So I saw him on there. I know that his business is successful because he's been advertising to me for years. I've opted into his funnel before. I've bought a bunch of stuff, right? And part of me going into his funnel was me doing some research around what he was offering. So anyway, I clicked on that and it took me to a website that looked like this. Ladies, hold your horses, okay? So it's Drew Manning. And what I did is I noticed right up there in the top right corner, it says my programs, right? So I clicked on that took me to a page like this where I saw that he has several different offers that he's promoting. So uh, I clicked on one of them. It took me to a video like this. And the reason that I'm, I'm doing this is because I'm going through and taking a look at his products and seeing how much sales material, how much sales and promotional material has he put together for that. So let's go back one slide. So I see these offers and I wanna know, Okay, so how is he selling that? So I clicked on one of these and it takes me over to a page where he clearly has a sales video, sales presentation, which is great news because that means that I don't have to go and create that presentation from scratch, right? I've got a professional at his product already doing all the selling, telling and explaining for me, which is what we want if we're gonna have an affiliate offer or JV promotion, right? So on his website, I couldn't find anything about his affiliate program, so I just went I scrolled around and I found this contact us button. I clicked on it, right? And I sent an email. It very, very simply says, hello, I'm building an email list in the diet and fitness niche and was wondering if you folks have an affiliate program so that I can promote your products. I look forward to hearing back from you, okay? Very simple email. I've done this many, many times in my career. And interestingly enough, they actually did get back to me at one point. I may have a slide about this here eventually. They did get back to me at one point. Let me know that they do not currently have an affiliate program. Uh, Howard, do you really think that that's gonna stop somebody like me who's committed to making this business success a success? So I'm gonna say, okay, well, they don't have one. Well, I'm gonna let me continue searching to find someone who does. This is just the very first option that I went to, okay? Right after I sent that email, I went over to JVZoo and I typed in, so this is another affiliate network, I typed in weight loss right up here at the top. You should be able to see that. And specifically, I'm looking for PLR products, private label rights products. So again, go back a few slides and I talked about what those are. I'm gonna get into that a little bit more heavily here. So I kept scrolling and eventually I found one, this one here, it says diet is not a dirty word. Um, you know, understanding weight loss. And it's a PLR super pack, which means that they've got several different products in the package. You can see down at the bottom, it's $67 to buy now. So I clicked on that and I want to see what do they offer with that. Check this out. For $67, they will give me the main ebook, the bonus report, viral report, meaning the basically the, the thing that people are gonna opt in for, so the, the lead magnet, right? The, the thing that we're gonna advertise online so that people, when it comes to the site, they give us their email information in order to get that report. They give us some blog articles and blog posts. They give us the email autoresponders. So basically the email autoresponders that they've used in their campaign, we can copy and paste those over so we don't have to even have to write our own copy. They have digital product reviews from Amazon. They're gonna give us their Amazon digital product reviews that we can use in our marketing. So we can say, look, these are what people who purchase this product off of Amazon are saying about it. Down here, they've got the tangible product re reviews. They've already put together some of the e-covers. So in other words, the book, the, the e-book itself that people are gonna be buying, they've got several different covers already designed and it says right down there, and much, much more. Meaning for one, one time, I can buy this for $67, put my name, my logo on it, take credit for having created it, sell it under my brand, and I can sell it over and over and over again for $17, $27, $37, or whatever price I can justify. I could couple it with other PLR products and start selling it for $97 a pop, potentially, right? So my point is this, somebody has already done the hard work for us if we're willing to go and look hard enough. Keep in mind now, everything that I just showed you, just five minutes, that's it. It's only five minutes of research done so far. So I'm literally just doing a Google search, clicking, all right, let me check this out, all right, let me do another Google search, and let me do a search on, on JVZoo, and I'm finding stuff. Imagine if you spent 50 minutes, imagine if you spent five hours, how deep you can go in here and find a really good, high quality products that you can sell in a niche, in an industry that you already love and are passionate about.
All right, so then once we've identified what we're gonna sell, then it, it become, then we move into step three, okay? So step three is gonna be to design our offer path or our funnel flow. This is where we're gonna design exactly the path as we generate leads, as, as we place ads online, what exactly is the path that all of our uh, viewers are going to follow in our funnel, okay? First aspect of that is gonna be creating a lead magnet, right? Now a lead magnet could be a PDF, a video or a lesson. It could be an actual, hey, you know, this three-part video training series reveals the secrets to, you know, generating more high-ticket sales. That could be your free offer, okay? Uh, it could be the actual video sales letter itself. So we've done this many, many times. Hey, free video reveals X, Y, and Z. You opt in, very next video, gives you some value for 30 minutes, and then pitches for 15 minutes or so. Right, that's a video sales letter. So somebody will actually give, opt in and give you their contact information just to consume your sales material. It could be a webinar or a workshop. And you know, several, there's several other things that we could put together here right, as our lead magnet. Now, I'm gonna encourage you though, while a lot of people look at this and think, oh man, what am I gonna do for that? that? That sounds like a lot. I'm not an expert, I don't know how to put this together. My friends, keep it simple. Okay, here's what I did in just a few minutes. I'm gonna show you exactly how I would do this if I'm starting all over again from scratch, okay? I went to Google, you can see it right up here at the top. It says top keto hacks. I just randomly typed in that uh, search phrase. And right down here at the bottom, secret keto diet hacks, five ways to make you super ketogenic, okay? So I just clicked there. And it took me to a website that looked like this. Obviously, I didn't capture the entire website, but pretty interesting stuff. I went to the website, and they were very, very, very crystal clear, very simple. Here's you know, hack number one, fasting. Hack number two, X, whatever it was. Hack number three, Y. Hack number four, Z. And on and on it went. And it was very, very simple and, and great content, okay? So what I did, I didn't create anything new. I took the link to this website, all right, to this blog article, and I went right over to a website called Print Friendly. And down here, you can see that I just, all I did was copy and paste the link to that blog article that we were just reading, okay? Next thing I'll do is click this preview button, and it's gonna take us to a page that looks like this. It's gonna open up a little window, and it's gonna look like this. In other words, here's what we're doing. We are taking a blog article written by a professional we're taking it over to this, this thing called Print Friendly and we're turning it from a blog article into a PDF on autopilot with literally the click of one button. That's it. Don't have to copy and paste, don't have to learn how to you know, open it up in a Word doc and correct it and then turn it into, none of that. Literally just copy paste a link, most of the work is done for us. So it opens up this window where you can actually edit the, the content itself. So you can see down here, there's a little trash can symbol, so I can take out paragraphs, I can add paragraphs, I can add or remove images, like I would probably take out this big purple image at the top that says keto hacks, I might put something different there, and we can remove some of uh, like the date and time, so it's gonna pull everything from the blog and we can add or subtract whatever we want to add or subtract, so we can customize it just a little bit. Now you might be thinking, Kiala, is this even legit? Is this okay for me to do? Absolutely. See, all we do at the very end of this is we give the original author credit. Hey, if you love this content and you want to learn more, go check out this blog by so-and-so. And if we link out to that in our introduction or in, you know, kind of, or, or in our summary of the, the ebook, most people are perfectly, perfectly comfortable with that honestly, because you're sending them additional traffic that they wouldn't otherwise get, and you're spending your advertising dollars to generate those leads in the first place, and most of them probably are not. So you're broadening their audience for them, okay? But you also get the lead. You've got the email, the most important thing, right? More important than a website visitor is a website, is a website visitor's contact information. All right, so let's... Uh, so after I've done, I'm done editing it, uh, a little window pops up like this. It just says, you know, download your PDF. Literally click there, bang. It'll download that file right onto the computer. What do we need next? Well, next we're gonna need a cover for this ebook, right? Not too difficult. We just go right over. This is Canva. We've talked about it in our training in the past. You can just go and Google ebook cover Canva, and it'll take you right to a page that looks like this. You can see the ebook cover right down here right, or the, the, uh, that they have a template there. So I clicked on that, 
It took me to a page that looks like this where I'm gonna now select a template to work off of. And I selected this one that's purple and yellow and it says uh, the new secrets about designing creation or whatever, right? So it's just got some generic copy on there. Next, I just changed that up and I made my own cover. I, I, I created this, the hacker's guide to ketogenics. Five keto hacks that are so simple it feels like you're cheating. And that'll be our ebook cover. And then. I, when I gave this presentation at the Elite Summit, I asked, who here in the audience is doing the ketogenic diet? A bunch of hands went up. Then I asked, now keep your hands up if you would give your email address in exchange for an ebook that promised to show you five ways to, uh, to stay in keto, in ketosis, that are so simple that it feels like you're cheating. And all the same hands stayed up. Yes, I would, right? So. In just a few minutes, like literally just, I erased some words, put some new words in, <laughs> very simple stuff, created an ebook cover. Now all we do is now we gotta take this PDF file from that blog article and this ebook cover and we've gotta marry them together, right? Great, so we go to a website called mergepdf.com and right up here, uh, right around here you can see it says choose file, right? We literally just click that, we choose multiple files and it'll merge all of those into one PDF document. So it'll merge our cover on with our content and we're done. We now have created an ebook. This didn't take me very long. This probably took me maybe, maybe 10 minutes at most, right? Now you might be thinking, okay, well I need a logo, right? Great. I went right back over to Canva and I just typed in logos, company logos Canva, and I made this logo off of one of their templates, really easy, Keto Hackers, easy, fast, fun, All right? Here's another one, another logo, Keto Hackers. I can put this in the little bottom corner of my ebook cover or the bottom corner of my website. I could put it on the blog, I could put it on the bottom of every page, whatever, who cares, All right? And we've just started a little brand called Keto Hackers. So next, once we've got the content for our lead magnet, which is gonna, no, no matter what, is gonna be the first way that somebody opts into our funnel, right? The, the way that they enter our funnel, then we're gonna focus on, okay, what are we gonna do next with that lead? We're gonna, so we opt in, and for the first seven days, week one, we're gonna push them to register for a webinar. And we're gonna use that webinar presentation to sell our primary offer, right? Let's say this uh, uh, keto hacking and, and fitness, uh, offer that's, I don't know, a few hundred dollars, right? So first we're gonna try to push them to register for the webinar. If they purchase, then they will move to our customer nurture list, meaning they're gonna, they're gonna automatically be, uh, we can set this up to happen on autopilot, they're automatically gonna be moved to our customer list, and we're gonna treat those customers a little bit differently because they've paid us money, right? So, and we know that those are proven buyers. So we're gonna facilitate a relationship with them and we know that those are people that are most likely to buy in the future because they've already bought something. Now if they don't purchase, then, the, so you can see that on the end, if they don't purchase, then they're gonna continue to week two. In week two, now for the next seven days, if they haven't purchased and they haven't moved onto our customer nurture list, then we're gonna to try to push them to watch a video sales letter. Now this video sales letter might be 30 minutes to an hour, 20 minutes to an hour, just depends. People ask me all the time, Kala, how long should my video sales letter be? It should be as long as it takes for you to get the sale. That's exactly how long it should be, okay? That's it, super simple. So we push them to watch a video sales letter. We might have on that, on that video sales letter page, we can create an evergreen countdown timer where we say, so every single person thinks that they only have a limited amount of time to watch that video, and we create real scarcity, but it's an evergreen type of scarcity, meaning it happens over and over and over again. I don't wanna to get too much into that because it's not super important to understand in order to understand the value of what it is uh, that we're talking about right now. So if they buy, if they purchase, then they're gonna to move to a customer nurture list like we talked about. If they don't purchase, then they're gonna to go to week three. Let's say in week three, we're gonna push them to an application or a phone call. Or we might push them directly to a paid application. So week three is saying, hey, you know, you attended, you, you, you had the chance to attend our webinar, you didn't attend the webinar. Uh, we sent you the video uh, where you were able to learn about, you know, our super keto hack uh, program, whatever, and you didn't do, you, you didn't take action. Maybe you want more information. Maybe you wanna speak to somebody. Maybe you have some questions that you want answered. So for a very limited time, you're, we're gonna allow you to uh, fill out a simple application, pay $27 just so that we know that you're serious, and uh, we'll hop on the phone with you, we'll answer any questions that you have, and if it's a fit, we'll go ahead and get you started. If it's not a fit, we'll just give you your 27 bucks back. 
No questions asked, right? Very standard stuff. I used to make a lot of money doing this exact formula. Literally, I would send people you know, to a video sales letter for a week. If they didn't buy, then I'd send them to a paid application for a week, and I would get these people to pay to get on the phone with me, right? And that way, I knew that they at least had a credit card, and they were serious enough to separate with their money, and I was more likely to get a sale. Eventually, I had them pay to get on an application, uh, paid for an application to get on the phone with somebody else. At the end of that promotion, we might say, okay, did they purchase? Yes, they'll go on our customer list. Did they not purchase? No, now they're gonna move to our JV or affiliate offer list. So this is our secondary list. This is where we're gonna promote all of our secondary offers. And every week, we're just gonna be promoting some sort of affiliate offer to that email list. We're gonna provide them with some value every couple of days and then a pitch for a few days and then get drip some value on them and then a pitch for a few days. And we can hire an external copywriter to do a lot of that for us. Our job is just to go and find the offers that we're gonna to promote to them, right? And so we wanna find maybe 52 offers so that we have an offer a week to promote to that email list because again, they didn't buy what we, our primary offer, we have a duty and responsibility to get back the advertising dollars that we spent to generate that lead. This is not that difficult. This is very, very easy to put together and a lot of it can be done on autopilot, right? Next, what we're gonna do step four is we wanna identify who our customer avatar is. So we wanna know their demographics, right? Their age, sex, location, the things that they're interested in, books, articles, magazines, blogs, uh, what kind of authors do they like? What is their income? What are some of their internet behaviors? All of these things that help us get inside the mind of who is our perfect customer. Now, if you've been, if you've had the chance to go through our uh, fast track formula training series, you may have seen our Facebook targeting worksheet. Okay? Our Facebook targeting worksheet is literally like it's six pages of asking in depth questions so you can create a multitude of customer profiles. If you just go through that worksheet, and answer the questions, you can create literally a hundred different profiles in a matter of a few hours, right? That way you always have a new uh, avatar that you're testing. And you, you never run out of who do I target next? It does all of the hard work for you. At the Elite Summit, when I first shared this, I asked, how many of you have seen the Facebook targeting worksheet? A bunch of people raised their hand. I said, has it helped you create an avatar? All those hands stayed up in the air, right? Here's just a secondary shot of it. You can see it asks sex or gender, uh, marital status, what is the, do they have a, a certain type of college degree, what's their field of study, and we just go on and on and on through this, and we can you know, check different boxes, give different answers, and then compile those and create a multitude of profiles that we can target to run some tests to. And then we have our customer avatar, our avatar profile sheet where we take all that data, put it on one worksheet, and that way we just we have one profile after the next, stacking up on our desk. So step five, and this is probably one of the toughest steps for the beginner, is now it's time to write the copy. This means we're gonna write all of the ads, all of the landing pages, so the headlines on all of our landing pages, headlines for all of the ads, body copy, call to action, all that stuff. Offer pages, if we're selling our own offer, we're gonna have to do that. If we're selling somebody else's stuff, we don't necessarily have to do that. We're gonna write the emails, Okay, so all of the written word that's gonna go into generating a sale. And then step six, we're gonna create our ad and split testing matrix. A lot of times people say, well, I don't know, you know, how do you come up with so many different things to test? Super simple, here's the formula. Okay, so here I'm gonna start with three types of body copy. We have short body copy, medium body copy, and long body copy. This means that the advertisement itself on Facebook Okay, it's gonna have like short punchy copy, maybe medium copy, and then like a long form sales letter type copy. We talk about this quite a bit in Conversion Academy and again in Traffic Academy, okay? So we'll tar start with three different types, uh, three lengths of our sales copy. Then we start with uh, three different headlines. If we just do this simple combination, we have nine ads inside of here, right? We have headline one coupled with body copy one. Headline one coupled with body copy two. Headline one coupled with body copy three. Then again, headline two with body copy one and so on and so forth. So each of these gray boxes here represents one variation of our, ad, our copy for our advertisements. Nine variations right there. That's nine split tests that we're gonna run. So we're never gonna run out of ideas here. Now check this out. Then we add another layer of complexity to it by adding images. 
So we're gonna go find three different images that we're gonna test. It could be three different videos. It could be whatever, right? Whatever the, the ad creative is gonna be. Now look at this. This is headline one, body copy one, combined with image one, right here. That means, so this is one of multiple variations. This is image two, okay? Headline one, body copy two, that combination. In other words, if we just keep going through this matrix, this is 27 different ad variations. 27. You cannot tell me that you can't come up with enough things to split test. This is very simple to put together. And it's very simple to start building out in your uh, Facebook ads manager. And we can start testing you know, for as little as a dollar a day, all of them for as little as a dollar a day. So 27 bucks a day, potentially, right? And then we don't even have to test all of them at the same time, okay? We could just take a fraction of that inside of our budget and test 10 of them at a time at 10 bucks a day, right? And it can even get much more complex than this. Typically when we launch a campaign, we have somewhere between 50 and 100 right out of the gate, okay? But obviously again, we're starting from scratch, we're starting from zero, so I want to give you that. And then step seven, this is, this is my favorite step by the way, keep your eyes peeled. Step seven, get money, that's the step. That's what we do, we get money at this, at this step. I love step seven, it's my favorite step of all the steps. Right? So you get money. How do you do that? You test, 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 and you may have guessed it, then you test some more. That's the get money phase. And all we're doing is we're just gonna test and test and test and test and keep testing till we find our winners. And as we find our winning ad variations and our winning funnel sequence, we start getting that money over and over and over again. And then all we're gonna do is continue to scale that out. I literally showed you how to start from scratch, okay? Step one. Get clear about what you already in value in your life, what you already are inspired by in your life, and then we figure out how to build a business around that so that you jump out of bed every morning excited about it. Now, I jump out of bed every morning to, to market and sell what we sell at, as, as AWOL. However, you might not. Marketing and sales might not be your thing. Selling digital courses on the internet might not be your thing. You might jump out of bed every morning excited about Rottweilers. I don't know, but I guarantee you that there's a, there's a way in which to build a business around Rottweilers. You just gotta start thinking, thinking it through, okay? And that's a very, very specific niche, right? We could go dogs, if you just like dogs. We could even go wider and we could do like pets. It just, it's, again, we can go on and on on these, on these ideas. So we took that, that, figure out our values, then find the products around those values. Create a primary, find out, figure out what our primary offer is gonna be, what our secondary offer is gonna be. Without doing a whole lot of research, I found somebody who you know, had a great program, wasn't leveraging an affiliate right now, and I emailed them and asked them, are you interested in, you know, I'm interested in building a list in your space, will you allow me to sell your products for a commission? Right? They're gonna say yes or no, and we're just gonna keep going and looking for it. I showed you how to build a lead magnet from scratch, how to take somebody else's content, turn that into a downloadable PDF, build a, a ebook cover uh, in minutes, and now have your own very own lead magnet. I showed you how to find somebody else's product that they've already built all of the, the material, even written all the emails for you, their private label products, right? private PLR products, buy it one time for 67 bucks in, in this example, and be able to sell it as many times as you want over and over again, or even couple it with other programs and sell it for more money. The, the truth is rather simple. Right? The truth is that anyone can do what I just showed you how to do. My question is, can you see yourself doing it now that I've showed it to you? Can you see yourself doing it? Can you see yourself taking these steps and applying them little by little? I surely hope so because this is you know, as simple as it can possibly get.